October of 2022, musically for Korea, it was amazing. K-pop and K-hip-hop blew me away, specifically K-pop. Like, woo! There were so many good things, guys, but this, this video is going to get copyrighted the second I upload it because I'm using the video clips you see. So please, please, please like and subscribe and comment if you haven't done any of that already. I really do appreciate it. Let's dive into this. I'm going to go over my 10 favorite songs and why I loved each one. And we're going to start off with Gwang Il Joe's Bubble Gum. <laughs> Which I didn't expect to come out. This was like a surprise release for me, but he kind of went the fuck off. He rapped 11.88 syllables per second, the closest he's ever gotten to his fastest speed, I'm pretty sure. Which is impressive enough, but the rapping blew me away. Bubblegum, it's kind of, it's very nice. And the fact that Guang Yo Joe is number 10, and I love his rapping, just says a lot for this month. But overall, really great, aggressive Guang Yo Joe style rapping hip-hop song. Now, next up, number 9, I have... AB6's Sugar Coats. I don't know why, but the the, the, the hook in this, like that whispery, soft, high vocal, just like is really catchy to me. It's something I haven't heard too often, but it kind of like snuck its way into my heart where I find myself having these days this month where I was like, I want to listen to AB6's Sugar Coat. It is mainly for that hook. That hook is really unique to me. It's not something that I've heard too often in K-pop. So yeah, next up I have something that I thought was going to be a lot higher at the beginning of this month, but that's Sulgi's solo of not 28 Reasons, but her B-side Dead Man. Now, Dead Man Running ended up being my favorite of this album. I also did love 28 Reasons, but I've been listening to Dead Man Running more. It's just that very powerful, like, layering voice and layering synths to this song just keeps me replaying it for that one. But yeah, so that's Sogi, uh, number eight, Dead Man Running. Next up, we have another K-Hip-Hop comeback. I wasn't expecting at the beginning of this month. And it's Jackie Wise, Go Back. Now, Jackie Y disappeared two years ago, and I didn't know if she was ever going to come back with new music, but she did. She joined AOMG, dropped a new single, Go Back, and, you know, I'm still listening to it. It's not like my favorite Jackie Y verses and hook in the world, but hey, the more you listen to it, the more catchy it gets because it's fucking Jackie Y. <laughs> Next, we have EXID's IDK, or I don't know. This happened to be my favorite song off the EXID album, which is really, really well done. I was actually worried that EXID was never going to actually come back, like as a full five-member comeback again. But I'm so happy they did. Fire was pretty good. I don't know was the best for me, and I listened to this so much, especially in the first half of the month. It's such good vocal song. Number five at the halfway point of this list, we have probably the most unknown artist and song on here. It's Kid Wine and Han featuring PLHN, Forget Me. I don't know why, but this song just gives me that, like, you know, aesthetic memory vibe. It's like, you know, I'd put on this song when I'm just walking through the town, and it's just like, just gives me this, like, pretty aesthetic, like, you know, it makes everything feel surreal to me. It's this, like, nice, slow, r and b vibe song. PLHN's voice goes amazing with Kid Wines when they duet at the end. It's... It's so beautiful to listen to. I highly recommend it, especially PLH, and I'm a huge fan of her voice. So Number four, we have one of the biggest songs to drop this month, Le Seraphim's Anti-Fragile. Now, this one honestly could be number one. I've been listening to it a shit ton since it dropped. I really, really, really love it. It's so catchy. It's so awesome. Chaewon's parts are probably my favorite. I love that little dance move during Chaewon's chorus, that first chorus. I kind of wish that they faced each other when they did it and they did like a little party dance in a circle like that they kind of do in the music video. But I, I can't have everything with the performance. But either way, the song sounds so fun. It's so good. It lived up to Fearless for me because I love Fearless back in the spring too when that dropped. So number three, though, we have Idols, but not, not Nude. We have Sculpture. <laughs> Sculpture was actually my favorite on this album. I honestly only really like Nude and Sculpture as overall songs on this album, but Sculpture is so fucking fine. Like, I repeated this so much. It is such a unique sound in K-pop. It is such a unique vibe. The songwriting is amazing. Zoyan wrote it, I hope, because it is so good. It is a unique sound and something you don't hear too often. I kind of wish this was the title track. Number two, we have, of course... 
Stray Kids. I know they're not number one, but the song that I ended up listening to the most from this album was Give Me Your Tea and Now, obviously, I liked almost all the songs from this album. I, ch I was tempted to put Chill here instead. Uh, even Three Racha, I listened to a bunch. And honestly, Case 143, I've played a lot too. But Give Me Your TMI just takes the spot for me as my favorite on the album because it, it just reminds me of that old Stray Kids feel, that mixtape vibe. And I miss that sound so much. It's that nostalgic sound. <laughs> but the Changbin, probably my favorite Changbin rap on the album in this song at the beginning. Jisung goes off in this song too and does a really fun rap as well as Hyunjin as well. Just overall, the like the vocals and the heavy instrumental gives me that old Stray Kids vibe, and then the, but the rapping it's like it's still that like high quality Stray Kids rapping that I love. And number one of October, my favorite one of the month was Limelight Eye to Eye. Now, if you don't know this song, please go check this out. Bro, this just gives me so much nostalgia, and I don't know why. It's just whenever I listen to it, I just get happy. It just makes me think about happy memories. I don't know what it is about this song, but I listen to it, and it just gives me happy memories, and that's the best way I can describe it. Good vocals in it, very clean instrumental, but it just makes me happy. But that ended up being my favorite song of the month. I replayed that over and over from this month in October, and whew! best of the month for me but yeah let me know what your 10 favorite songs of october this month are because this month blew me away it was such a good month thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed and as always k-pop and chill the safe way see you in the next one